Hello lovely people, welcome back to today's video. My name is Fifi. Today we are going to be designing this birthday flyer you are seeing on your screen in Pixel Lab. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into the video. Alright, so we click on this three dots over here. We go to image size. So we're going to input our image size. Okay, which is 1,109 by 1,280. All right, so we are going to import our background image. Okay, so we'll click on this three, line, three dots over here. Use image from gallery. We click on that. So we are going to import this particular image as our background. All right, we we'll click on a plus icon. We go for a shape. We increase the radius so that it turns to a circle. Reduce opacity to zero. Then we increase stroke width to 40. Then we reduce the size. Then we head over to blur radius. Then we increase blur radius to 25. After we just click on our check mark like this. Just increase the size like this. After we then head over to um texture then click on this immute icon over here then we import this just reduce the size a bit yeah position it here you make a duplicate then position it here, make another duplicate, and then you position it at this one. Make sure you arrange them carefully. Okay. All right, so I will lock my layer as well. I will just reduce opacity a bit. Let me reduce opacity a bit to, let's say, 75. I'll select this one and reduce opacity to 75 as well. The last one. All right. So after you just click on a plus icon from gallery, import our first image. Just increase the size. Then we head over to eraser. We increase the size of the eraser and then we increase the blurness. And we're going to brush off some parts of the image. like this I'm gonna position it somewhere here we lock our layer we click on a plus icon from gallery we import our second image click on a check mark increase the size and we're gonna position it here yeah, I'm gonna position here. Let's lock our layer. We click on a plus icon. We go for a shape. We use a size like this. We head over to gradient. And then I will select this default gradient and click on a plus icon. I will select this slider, this first slider over here and click on this color drop. Then I'll move this test slider to the transparent side and I'll press OK. I'll select this second slider, click on this color drop. Then I'll select this color picker from here. So I'm going to pick a color from here. Yeah. 
okay this is it i'll click on this plus to add or oh, another slider to it so i click on it then i'm going to after i just click ok yeah so i will increase it like this all right i just click on a plus icon go for test i just position it here let me change the color to this pen color and then go to edit I have my test on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste this one over here. Hello, about the font. I'm going to use this, um, yeah, I use this particular font. All right, so I will head over to size and then reduce the size a bit. And then I'll position it here. I'll then head over to style and then I'll bold the test a bit. All right. Let me make a duplicate of this test. I'm going to change the color to white and then go to edit. I have the name on my clipboard, so I'll just paste it increase the size and then I'll position it here. I'll go to Latin paddling and then I'll just increase left and right paddling. I'll then head over to shadow. Um, let me just maintain the opacity and reduce the blur radius. And I'll just increase the offsets Y and X. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll just change the color to this. Yeah. This is okay. Click on the plus icon, go for a test. Position it here. Go to edit. Go to my clipboard and I'll paste this test over here. Go to font and I'll look for um, Montserrat regular. Press OK. Go to size and then reduce the size. All right. Use position to position it well. All right. Let's just increase this one a bit, yeah. Yeah, something like this. Click on the plus icon again, go for a test. I'm gonna position it here. Happy. You head over to background and then we give it a background. Let's give it as um let me just use this color for the background. Then I'll just increase the left paddling and then right paddling as well. I'll go to font and then I'll use um Maserat medium. Reduce the size. Now position it here. I'll make a duplicate. Position it here as well. Head over to edit and type Betty. Go to background, 
and then change the color to white. Go to color and change the test color to this particular color. We use position and position it to all. All right. Click on the plus icon. You go for a shape. Increase radius. So it tends to a circle. Reduce the size like this. And position it here. Go to opacity and then reduce opacity. Make a duplicate of this circle. Change the color. And then reduce the size a bit. Move it on top of the first one and use position to position it well. All right. You click on the plus icon again, go for a test. Position it here. Go to edit and then you edit your test. All right. You head over to fonts and then you select um, Montserrat medium. Then let's reduce the size a bit. And then let's close line spacing. Head over to position and then you position it well. All right. You click on a plus icon, go for a shape. You click on this arrow, then you select this particular shape. Reduce the size. Click on a check mark. Use position, relative position to place it in the middle. Make a duplicate of it. Reduce the size a bit and use relative position to make sure it's on top of the first one. Head over to color and then change the color to this. Use position to position it well. Go to the layer side and merge the shapes together. Reduce the size and then position it here. Yeah. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.